To get started soldering, the first thing you'll need is a soldering iron. I recommend, as a first soldering iron, that you get something that has temperature control. The package should say temperature control on it. Uh, this will enable you to begin working with soldering without worrying about whether your iron is too cold or too hot and all the problems associated with bad temperature. Now an iron like that can run a, a, a wide variety of prices, but you may be able to find something on the order of $20 or less. The next thing you'll need is a stand. It's essential that you have some kind of stand to hold your iron because it takes a long time for your iron to cool down and you want to make sure you have somewhere to put it when you don't need it at that particular moment. So even a, a $1 folded piece of metal or something, it's really necessary. The third thing you're going to need is something to hold your workpiece. And the best way to do that is with a, a vise. Finally, you'll need some solder, preferably flux core solder. Now a roll of solder like this uh, can be purchased at Radio Shack for probably six or seven dollars. And there's a lot of solder here. This is a three ounce package. And it's, it's enough for tens of boards. It's to last a long, long time. And perhaps a tin of flux to help you along the way. Like this actually holds quite a bit of material. Since you're only using a tiny little bit for each solder, that amount could last for years and years even a decade or more. And a tin like this costs maybe six or seven dollars. Piece of sandpaper, and you should be all set. That's all you need to get started.